Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done some heatless curls, so I thought today I would bring out my flexi rods again and attempt to curl my super long hair that's almost down to my knees. My hair is super heavy, so that makes it hang straight. So it's gonna be interesting to see if these curls are even gonna hold. When my hair was shorter, and by short I mean down to my waist, it had a lot more natural waves and texture, which I absolutely loved, but I gave that up to have long hair. We can't have it all. Actually, that is a limiting belief. We can have it all. And I did wash my hair prior to this, so my hair is around 88% dry. I just left it a little bit damp so the curls would hold better. But let's get curling this long mane. So I'm starting off by giving my hair a good brush so I don't have any tangles or mats. And then I'm just applying a squirt of argon oil to my hair to keep it a bit conditioned while it's in the flexi rods. And now I'm just separating my bangs from the rest of my hair. I absolutely despise these bangs. I cannot wait for the day they grow out completely. I am done with bangs. Please you guys, never let me cut them again. I'm just pinning them back so I don't have to deal with them. So I like to dampen my hair just a bit. You're gonna get better curls this way. This is just a spray bottle that I filled up with water. There's no product in here, it's just water. And then starting from the bottom of your hair, just place that flexi rod underneath and start curling up. I recommend placing it on the underside of your hair rather than over your hair if you catch my drift. And as you can see, this was a challenge for me. My hair kept getting all weird at the top, so I literally spent 10 minutes just putting this one rod in. And I realized I had too much hair for the one rod, so I just took a smaller section and that worked a lot better. And once you get to the top, just bend that rod and it should stay in place. I didn't section my hair in any special way, I just started grabbing random sections of my hair and hoping for the best, but you can definitely part your hair and do it in a more thought out way, but I just went for it because I have a lot of hair and I didn't want to take the time to section it off. And then I just continued doing this for the rest of my hair. And as I went along, I took a few rods out and redid them. I just had too much hair in a few of them, so I made the section smaller and added more rods. And I think altogether I used around 16 rods. And finally, after an hour, I had the rods in place. It was quite the arm workout. Honestly, curling long hair this way is kind of difficult. Then I sprayed it with a bit more water and then put on my silk hair bonnet, which I will link down below in the description because it is the best thing ever. And it was really good at protecting the curls overnight and just kind of decreasing frizz. I highly recommend this step. And now, time to go to sleep. I will admit, sleeping with these rods in was the most uncomfortable sleep for my head. If you have shorter hair, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. But one thing that was comfortable was my Birch mattress. So thank you Birch for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know already, I am the biggest fan of Birch mattresses. I think they are the best mattresses in existence. Birch makes non-toxic, organic mattresses, and they are incredibly comfortable. I've had mine for a couple of years and have had nothing but a good experience with it. So they have their original Birch mattress, as well as their upgraded Birch Lux mattress, which I'm currently using. And the Birch Lux is made with organic cashmere, organic New Zealand wool, fair trade cotton, North American steel springs, and natural latex. All their mattresses are made in the USA, and the natural materials materials just allow for increased airflow to help keep you cool and comfortable while you sleep. The natural non-toxic latex relieves pressure points, while the targeted zone lumbar support provides enhanced contouring. But what I love most about Birch is that they have many third-party certifications, so they've done tons of testing to ensure their products are free from a long list of chemicals, things like VOCs, heavy metals, pesticides, phthalates, formaldehyde, pollutants, 
all sorts of different things that you just do not want to be exposed to. And a lot of us don't realize that traditional foam mattresses are off-gassing a lot of chemicals. And you guys know my health is so important to me as it should be for everyone. So that's why I love Birch so much. And they ship the mattress straight to your door in a box. It's super easy. You just take it out of the box, roll it out, and there you have it, your mattress. So you can click the link down below in the description box or go to birchliving.com slash holistic habits for up to $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. And another awesome thing about Birch is that their mattresses come with a 25 year warranty plus a 100 night sleep trial. So you can try the mattress out for three months and if you're not in love with it, you can get a full refund. But I know that you're gonna love it. All right, moving on to the results. It's the next morning. So let's take these babies out and see what we're working with. My hair kept getting caught as I was taking them out. So I definitely lost a few strands, probably caused a bit of damage. Some of the curls were really pretty and others just looked kind of frizzy and limp. So I'm not really sure what I did wrong there. I wish all of them turned out like this bouncy one. And this is how it looked. Honestly, it was a bit frizzy and dry feeling, so I wouldn't call it a success, but I also wouldn't call it a complete failure. I had fun doing it for the video, but I would never do this just for everyday life because it was time consuming, uncomfortable, and Honestly, the curls didn't even last very long for me. I think it looked really cute when it was up though, so I just kind of played around with it. And I love how big my bun was when I twisted it up and just secured it with a claw clip. But let's put on a little bit of makeup just to make it a bit more glamorous. And then I'll finish styling my hair afterwards. All the makeup I'm using is non-toxic and cruelty-free as always. So I'm just starting by applying the new Fit Glow Foundation in shade 2.5 and just blending that in a bit. I don't usually wear foundation because I just do not like the feeling, but I wanted to do full makeup today since I had these curls, so let's just go for it. And then I applied a bit of the Fit Glow Concealer in shade 2.5. I use 2.5 for both the foundation and the concealer, and this concealer is the best. Then I did my eyebrows with my Plume Beauty eyebrow pencil in shade Ashy Daybreak and then used their new brow gel also in shade Ashy Daybreak and their shade Ashy Daybreak is the perfect match for me. And then I applied some cream blush from Fit Glow Beauty in the shade Buff. It's super pretty, it just gives a really beautiful natural flush. And then I decided to do a cat eye just to be extra glamorous. So I used my Ilia Beauty Liquid Liner, which is the best clean beauty liquid liner. It stays put and the tip is perfect. It makes it so easy to apply. Then I applied the Fit Glow Beauty Plum Lash Primer and their mascara. I'm actually kind of getting annoyed with myself how many times I'm saying Fit Glow Beauty, but I just want to let you guys know what I'm using. Then I lined my lips with the Fit Glow Lip Liner in the shade Buff, which is my all-time favorite lip liner. <gasps> I love it so much. And then I applied the Fit Glow Beauty Lip Color Serum in the shade Rosé, which again, my favorite lip product. Now let's take this hair down. And I decided to put it in a ponytail because I think it looks super chic with a cat eye. It just gives that very snatched look. And as you can see, I was struggling to get my hair into a ponytail. And I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of painful, but pain for beauty, right? Now, once I finally got that ponytail in after about five minutes, I just smoothed out the top of my hair with a comb because it did look quite frizzy in real life. You can't really see it as much on camera, but it was frizzy and my bangs kept coming out, which really annoyed me. And then I have this secret tip for you. So Plume just came out with this amazing new hair stick called Instant Hairline, and it just fills in any sparse areas. So my hair is sparse on the side. That's just the way I was born. And you can see it when I wear my hair in a bun or a ponytail. So I had a sample and just used it to perfect my hairline. 
And then I took my earrings out and put in some chunky gold hoops because I think that looks really elegant with a ponytail and cat eye. And then I changed into my current favorite jumpsuit. I bought this when I was in Ojai, California. I'll see if I can find it online and then I'll link it down below. I love it. I love the high neck. I love the open back. It's super comfortable. And ta-da! This is my finished look. The ponytail was heavy and painful so I couldn't keep it in for long and the curls also didn't last that long because I didn't use any hair styling products. But it was so fun making this video for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. I do want to try other methods of curling my long hair so if you guys think of anything let me know. Follow me on Instagram at Holistic Habits. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!